opinion on measure B. Oh, measure B. That's not the education one. That's the porno one, right? Porno, porno one. Porno okay. one. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer this with how a, a man, a man once said to a dear family member of mine, and it was about condoms. Now, why would you want to lick an ice cream cone with the wrapper still on it? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's more than just condoms. I, I know. I know. I know. You can't have any squirting porn. You can't have any bukkake or bukkake probably is a better poor term. I mean, term. it just... It you just, can't have any spitting and all that stuff. Like, no fluids, right? Yes, no fluids, no nothing. Oh, basically, basically, the reason we watch porno is for like a fantasy. You're gonna destroy the basi fantasy. Basically, basically, it's just basically gonna destroy the whole ambiance of what everybody enjoys. You know, some, I mean, some porn girls. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, nice I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, unless you do, unless, unless you do straight porn. Like I know, uh, Pinky uses a condom. Yes. When she was when she was working. Yeah, but like it's just gonna destroy the whole like the thing with the, the majority of porn, especially in black porn. Um, it's going to destroy a whole bunch. It's going to take a lot of people out of the out of out of work. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Like uh, a lot of these people. Okay, some of these people aren't having safe sex lives, and well, these tests the tests are showing it. But I mean, a lot. The reason we oh, well, a lot of people watch porn is because we're out here having safe, regular sex, and we want to watch some kinky, weird stuff, or we want to watch somebody get their get nut on her face. Because you know what, my girlfriend's not going to do it. Okay, okay. Or like you know, girls like, oh, I want to squirt on my on my uh, my boyfriend's chest or his in his face. No, his boyfriend's her boyfriend's not gonna do it because he thinks the fact that she could even do that is kind of disgusting. But she might want to watch that, or he might be like, oh, I would like her to do that, but that's disgusting to ask her. So I'm gonna watch this. Like it's a fantasy, and these are adults that have made choices in their lives to do this, and that's their choice. Now, now, like, okay, like. Well, I mean, we could also get rid of all the guns to make sure nobody shoots themselves. But you know, no. I feel, I, I feel like Choice. they they're 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 trying to say that it's so many people getting getting uh, not getting tested or whatever. And I think this is all coming from um, the whole issue with Mr. Marcus. But however, like uh, people got to realize that it's straight a, porn has very few. stringent stringent testing. Like, yeah, and it's, yeah, and it's, and, it's, and it's not as and it's not as bad as everybody trying to make it seem that it is, but they just. I think I'm supposed to get that. Go ahead, keep going. I'm still, I'm still part of this conversation. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay. And with that being said, it's like you know. Say it's a, no to Prop B. I, I, I say no to Prop B just because, like, if you think about it, people are forgetting the fact that it's gonna be more. Than just uh, the porn people getting affected by it. Wait, it's Measure B, right? Yeah, Measure B. Whoops. <laughs> and like, like as as it says in here, like people realize, like I gotta remember that, like, there's more people, like uh, the people who cater, the uh, lighting people, the sound people, the editors, and yeah. everybody, and everybody else. If you think about it, porn, is a really, really big industry. Billion dollar industry in LA. Now you take away that, people keep complaining about, oh, we're losing all these jobs, we're losing this and losing that. And people say, well, when they or they put an audience on it, um, audience, they try to put restrictions on what you can do. Um, they they gotta they gotta know that people are just gonna say, well, we don't want to do all that, and they just, they're just gonna go to like Miami, they're gonna go to Florida, or they're gonna do it, gonna do it underground and make you think they're doing it somewhere else. And so it's gonna be wasted, wasted money, and it's like what you gonna you know people um people gonna really gonna run out and say oh we're you're you're in North Hollywood and you're not wearing a condom so people gonna gonna really gonna.
clips, all these people go out to go on porn sets and make it like an official thing where, like, it's if you think about it, it's like it's probably like at least 45 porns going like getting filmed every day. I mean, I, that's probably a ridiculous number, but it's a lot getting filmed every day. And so, you're gonna send all these people out there wasting money, wasting time that could have been uh, done for something else on uh, trying to uh, facilitate what they're doing. It's not like these porn people are trying to regulate what the fuck, what the uh, heck you're doing on your job. Hey, you're getting real angry. On your job. And like, so you can see, why, why are you trying to regulate them? I mean, what they're doing is safe. It's not, it has not been one big HIV scare in straight porn, I don't think. And then you look at, uh, uh, in the late 90s. In, like in the late, in the late 90s. 90s. I think so. But like, I mean, not, not recently. Okay. And then like, uh, with the whole syphilis thing, I don't believe. No one, I'm like, it was a scare, but, but one person had, had got it. But I don't think he gave it to anybody, if I remember correctly. So, I mean, it, it just trying to uh, make, make rules and regulations. And uh, just because people, certain people don't like the industry. Just because, they're, because of their religious uh, backgrounds. They just don't don't want the industry to be around, but they gotta realize there's a lot of people out here who can't get any, or uh, just like to watch it, or like to use use it as things that uh, use it as a as a platform for them to do other stuff with the people who they are with. So basically, it's a lot more than just condoms that they're putting restrictions on. It's no bodily fluid transactions. It's your civil liberties. Think about it. Exactly. You want to enjoy stuff. You want to enjoy. I want to enjoy bukake. I want to enjoy squirting. I want to enjoy some spitting and some slapping. Sometimes. Not all the time. But I want to be able to do that. I don't want to see people in rubber gloves and lab coats. Unless I'm looking for that specific kind of porn. And like, and like I'm, I'm wondering also. Like, I don't know. It doesn't say specifically in there. But it said for all. So I'm wondering. If they do a solo. Does that mean like if they do a solo. Uh, they got to put a. Kind of want a dildo? I mean, I've seen it before. Well, it, yeah, maybe. Or maybe gloves. They have to have gloves. They have to have gloves. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. An HJ with, ooh, and then a BJ with gloves and a condom. Oh, my God. This is not fun. You might as well. Ah. I mean, no. basically, basically. The reason we have all this weird stuff in porno and no condoms is... Because it's for the fantasy. That's the allure of it. I can't have unprotected, wild, unprotected sex in my regular life. Because, you know, I don't know what's out there. But, in porno, these people are tested. And that's why we're watching it. Because they can, they're professionals. They're fucking professionals. Exactly. And that's the whole effed up thing about it. And, like, I really hope that uh, they fix the situation that, um, that they are trying to uh, put on everybody. You know, it's a it's a bigger it's a bigger issue to put restrictions on it than it is, and not to have as much like put restrictions on it. So, why don't they find some kind of you know thing in the middle? Like, okay, let's say you they like there's a rule. Let's say let's make a, a rule like if you test positive for something, you're on a, either a ban or a con, like you have to wear a condom. I mean like, if, if you test positive for something, you can't, you can't, you can't work. work. But I'm talking about I mean, that's a already, longer ban though. just to prevent promiscuous outside unprotected sex. Outside of work. True. Something to deter that. How about that? Instead of total, totally eliminating and then taking the, taking the money out of California. Okay, like what, what you want to take the dispensaries and the and the, the porn and the weed. Two, two things yeah. that I mean, a lot, a lot of, money of money for government. They just, I mean, I mean, it's I mean, harder to regulate. I mean, I mean, not I mean the, the police hard to regulate. I know, but I mean, I mean, but think about it though. All of these regulations they're trying to put on, they keep trying to say there's no jobs or there's no money, whatever, in California, and people complaining about all the tax money going everywhere. But, but they want they want to keep making these things that's going to cost taxpayers more money and um, issue more things and make it. Harder for uh, everyday citizens who just trying to make a living out here in LA. To when did California start becoming so conservative? 
Hell, it wasn't even, I don't even feel like this conservative when the, when the governor was in, in office. Well, I, don't, I think, I think a lot of this stuff, uh, 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 is it Brown? I think he's, he, I think he's against a lot of the stuff that's, uh, being, it's just people are just signing things on the streets. People on, hold up. People on the street. I really want y'all to look at the stuff that y'all are signing before y'all sign it. Don't just walk up and sign everything that you see that people have on the streets. Because a lot of this stuff is bullshit. And this is one of the bullshit laws that they have out there. Seriously. I'll tell you a story. I went to, I was going to the grocery store. I went, this lady's in front of me. One of those petition people signed it. They, she signed, like, oh, government this, government that. Or, well, government, like, hey, funding for schools, yes. Funded this. This is a, uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, probably, I would say she's probably in her mid-40s. White woman. Looks like she might drive. Like she has, you know, maybe three kids and a husband and all that stuff. They got to the porno question on 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 uh, on Measure V. She said, "No, I don't. They can do what they want." See, every no. See the. Uh, I feel like only people in government are really, or a small group that feel it like, feels like they know best. But these people in these industries are taking this risk. They're just going to move over to Arizona, or Las Vegas, or to Miami. Like you're not gonna and, stop. And you know, also, you're just gonna take the oh, money out of California. And, I, and I, I didn't, I didn't tell you this, but check this out. So I was at the, uh, this is like last week. I was at um, Kmart, not Kmart, but Target, and um, I was uh, this was buying a costume for Halloween, and like uh, this woman stopped me, and um, she uh, she told uh, she was this was someone who was actually signing stuff. So I looked at one she's talking about, and one was to keep the dispensaries here. I'm like, okay. I don't smoke weed. Mm -hmm. However, I know people that do. And I know people that might actually need it for the actual thing that they go for, they supposed to get it for. There are some people that really and do like, need that weed. And like, I'm like, okay, I will sign this. And then um, she got in a conversation with me, and I'm like, okay. And she said, just make sure I vote uh, for it if it's on the ballot. And I'm like, okay. Then I told her, no, I said, no on B. And she said, "What's me? Oh, she said, oh, the uh, second one. She's, and she was trying to defend it. And I'm like, seriously? Because she kept talk, talk, talking about AIDS. And I'm like, how many AIDS cases have happened in the last 10 years? And she couldn't really give me a number. I'm like, you keep, you're keep you supporting something that's really going to hurt California. I mean, when you, when you think of California, you think of... You think of mainstream? Movies? I hate to say it, but there's probably been more marijuana-related traffic deaths than uh, the counts, amounts of AIDS in California since, like, when you compare dispensaries with porn companies. I hate to say it, but you shouldn't drive while high, just like you shouldn't drive while you're drunk. So, uh, don't blame it on the dispensaries, blame it on the person. Anyway. Well, it's a tragic accident anyway. But, you know what I'm saying. It's not... Yeah, it's 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 your life. Do what you want to do, and these people want to entertain us, and they want to make a living, and this is how they want to do it. And obviously, there's a business for it, and they're not hurting anyone. Well, they're hurting other people in the industry if they have a disease, but they're not hurting if they if they if they do uh, show proper work ethic by not having unprotected outside sex or having them with a tested partner, then there'd be no problem. It's the problem good getting I mean, outside. I mean, I mean I mean even even if they have sex outside, they still got they still were required to get tested. Yeah, they still get tested. And but, but they don't have to get tested before do they have um, they usually do. they have to do okay. Okay, because I was like I'm not sure if they have to get tested before every I mean some thing. some do and some get, like one of my good friends, I'm not gonna say her name on here, uh she gets tested like I think every every thirty days or every twenty days, so it's like they get tested on a regular basis, yeah, and regular and basis. and people are not having like they're not they're not going out having sex all willy nilly. Like no, crazy. some girls some girls don't even have sex outside of scenes. Some girls yeah. are like, I can't wait to book a scene so I can have some sex. I'm so horny. Yeah. So okay. I mean, and, 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 maybe and, the guys and, are a little bit wild. And, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, most of them are like. When they're not doing scenes, or whatever they're just doing webcam. So yeah, 
And I want, I really wonder about webcams. Is that going to be in the whole ordinance, um, ordinance too? Does that mean people on webcam got to wear condoms? Or if if it passes, is webcam going to blow up? Like then then you have to spend money to track IP addresses to see if it's in California. If somebody decides to have unprotected sex on webcam. That costs way too much money. It's, I mean, it's like, it's like prohibition. It doesn't really make sense. Because people want it, there's a demand. People are going to get their unprotected sex, porn up. I'm telling you. If they have to make it themselves. <laughs>